Welcome back to Fruling on Farming Simulator 22 for episode 4 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Fields 12 and 5 here on Fruling have been de-rocked. <laughs> yeah, we've removed the rocks. I'm going to take this actually because normally I would just put them in a pile by the side of the field. 1,310 litres is not very much. Um, we might have a point for lime or something like that, but we need every penny. So I'm going to take this down to the debris crusher. Um, you've seen already I was doing, yeah, 5 and 12. 12 was the first field, wasn't it? Yeah, of course it was. Um, and we've had our delivery, the one I was talking about. Come up on, coming up on the screen now should be the farm tractor bill of sale. And that was dated, well, it was the 16th of April. We uh, signed the contract. Sale price, zero. A gift from Farmer Pierce. Case International Harvester 7200 Pro. Um, where am I going? This way? I think this way. It had 2,500 hours on it. It's had a complete engine rebuild. Uh, it does say description of equipment, four-wheel drive tractor, front loader attachment not included in sale. 261 horsepower, dual beacon lights, one is not operational. That's been fixed. Um, seller's name, Farmer Pierce. Uh, Grayling, Michigan. And coming to me on the right-hand side. Both our signatures. It's amazing what we can do online these days. That facility just in front of me there, that's the straw to manure facility. I haven't used one yet, and I haven't got a huge amount of straw. And the problem is with contract work, you can't you can't get straw. So I didn't really want to use a load of my straw. I thought this would go a bit better behind, but that's that's as good as it's gonna get. Um that's no entry as well. Where is the debris crusher? Down one of these. So yeah, that's what's been delivered. The gift of horsepower, the gift that keeps on giving. Hopefully, oh here it is. Uh, we want to go to this end. Should come up with the tip thing. We're not going to make mega money, of course we're not. But here we go. Let's overload our stones. Get those in first. See what big bucks we end up with. Come on. 196. <laughs> Worth every pen. Uh, right, I'll take the rock crusher back. Oh, the rock crusher, the um, rock picker. 
we'll put that away. That's not least, is it? That's ours. I'm really having trouble remembering between all, everything that's going on. So, this will be the last episode for a few days. Like I said, we are going away for over the weekend, so probably not until Monday. It depends when we get back Monday. Depends on traffic. Is it bank holiday weekend? Is it bank holiday weekend? I think it is. Another one? Yeah. So, it's likely to be busy. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how we get on. So, there may be a video Monday. I'm not sure. I was going to try and rack and load up, but um, the problem I've got at the moment... As is always the case, it's time. Let me just pull this over. I've got a load of stuff to get ready for going away, and I just haven't, I haven't done any of it. Oh, I got one. Oh, that's got to be worth a few, Bob. Right, we'll get down here. Have I got a front loader? We've got a front loader. Have we got pallet forks? Probably. Right, that's money in the bank. Right, we'll get rid of that. Hopefully, if I remember before the end of the episode, we we'll get it done. So, what are we going to be doing in this episode? I have off camera, like I said I was going to do, we finished heading all of the field we were turning into hay. I've cut the fields that we we're going to turn into grass. It is grass we were going to cut. So what we're going to be doing now is baling the hay and then we're going to be collecting the grass. I'm probably going to use, I mean, yeah, we'll use the new tractor, why not? Um, I might, because we're going to run the Sarmash twist and um, the loading wagon for... Where should I put this? I can't remember where it was originally. This was ours. Well, hang on, I've got to check. Am I losing my mind? Did we, does this not belong to us? Did I lease it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it probably cost me more to lease it. Did it? I can't remember what it cost me now. Um, then... Let's see if we don't own it. Okay. Then... Anything else? Oh, ah, that was it. Fertilizing contracts. We can use this for the fertilizing. We'll get the other one for that. So, just to show you, um, mowing done, telling complete on this field here. So that's going to be wind road, baled and collected. We're going to do that all in one pass, hopefully. And then the other field, we're going to um, just use the sarmash. We're going to wind row and collect in the loading wagon. So those are the two jobs we need to get done. The other thing was a tractor that could pull this because the smaller John Deere was really struggling. So that frees up the Valmet to pull this. We shouldn't have a problem now. No, we're off the ground. I think it was just that front wheel, the landing gear, uh, just there, was touching the ground. It was just stopping it from moving. So let's get a full load of this. We're going to need to do the grass fields with fertilizers as well, so we've got a fair bit to do. This tank is not going to last long. So we've got two fertilizing contracts to do. We're going to be backwards and forwards. So that we may have to wait but I did want to get a slightly larger tractor on it so what we'll do first is get in there and then hopefully before the end of the episode if I remember we'll take that lettuce is it from here? should be what's this hold? it's 8,000 6,000 litres <clears throat> ok well mm. It's going to be fun, isn't it? Right, let's pull that over to the side. So we're not in the way of anything else. Actually, I could, we could get one of the workers, couldn't we, going on it? Let's get one of the workers going. Course. Course. What was I thinking? Um, field 10. That's the thing I haven't checked. <laughs> Normally, I turn it off before I start, but you never know, do you? Make sure the buy things are off. Auto refill. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> I didn't want to set a worker off and all of a sudden find it's charging me because we, we just don't have the money to spare. Let's get this to field 10. Let's get a worker on it. And there it is. There's the glorious 7200 Pro. It's an older tractor. Um, yeah, we've gone up a little bit on the horsepower. But like I say, it's, it was offered to me. It was free. So I'm going to turn that down. I'm not crazy. Field 10 is directly ahead of us. I honestly can't see this lasting very long at all. Can you? <laughs> I'm not even sure what the spread width is on it. We haven't got narrows on this either. I don't know how far over to go. 
we just go there? Let's set it off and see what happens. Yeah, probably needs to be wider than that. Oh man, we are going to get through so, so much of this. I really, I shouldn't be slurrying over a crop that's already growing either. But it's, um, what have we got? I think we actually have got a rear fertilizer um, spreader, is the word, broadcaster, isn't it? That, that just flings the stuff out. But I don't know how much of that we've got on hand. Although, if we've got farm supply stuff available, we could pick up a pallet for, um, for a grand. 5,000 litres, that might last a little while. That's going to be a bit of backwards and forwards as well, I guess, but... Let's come over a little bit. Oh dear. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not happy about the fact that we're putting slurry down on a field that's already growing, but at the end of the day, it needs to be done. Right, I'm going to let him get on with that. Is it him or her? This is a him. A uh, he. Let's go and grab that. And let's get the rest of the job done. I know we're on the same day. Uh, a couple of people commented. We haven't moved forward. I'm just getting a load of jobs done because one day represents one month. So I'm just in my head saying to myself, all well, these, all the jobs I would get done in a month, potentially. <laughs> Absolutely. Be happy, people. Be happy. Be happy for me. Look. Thank you, Farmer Pierce. Big old beastie. Now we're not going any. I'm not saying that we're not going any bigger than this. We're not going any bigger than this. I mean, at the end of the day, if it's an old tractor. It doesn't matter. It's Mississippi P's home for abandoned tractors. It's not necessarily. Um, I mean, that's what I'm calling the um, the model farm. That's not its actual name, obviously. But. Um, Yeah, I mean, it, if they're old tractors, I mean, we're not taking in new tractors. It would be weird for people to abandon new tractors. But they kind of barn find old stuff and people replace, get new tractors on the farm. You know, most farms don't. They'll keep hold of their tractors and they'll just keep working on them. They'll keep them running. Um, you know, it's unusual for farms to get rid of tractors. I know there's one of the places we go past in the Lake District and they must have four or five tractors in the yard and then to the side of one of the barns, they've got to be another four or five that look like derelict tractors. I mean, they're just in real horrendous states of repair. But you know full well they're not getting rid of them. Because they'll either use them for parts, or it's going to be one of those, you know what, one day we'll do that as a project and we'll, we'll fix that up. You know, it's that kind of thing. You can totally see that happening, you know. So, this is the idea. Windrow bale, collect, all in one go. I don't know if I've got that trailer still set on collect though. We're going for 125 of these, if we get 125, if we don't off here, we don't, that's absolutely fine. That'll take me to my 200 limit, then the other field, like I said before in previous episodes, that's going to be collected, that's going to go in the fermenting silo, wherever that is, around there somewhere, and um, that will be changed into silage. That'll give me my component parts for my Total mix ration for the cows. Drop that down. The problem we've got is do that. Just going to pull that to the. S ah, that is going to be an issue. It's not going to work, is it? Because I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you have to unfold the bale to turn it on, and because it's offset. We're not going to be in the same... I can't do it in one pass. I didn't think of that. Let's disconnect. Right, I'm just have to go and... We'll have to win row first and then... It'll work with the loading wagon, but it won't work with that because it's offset. Never mind. Right. Well, I could have used a smaller tractor for this. There'll be other jobs that we're looking. I don't want to get too close to the fence, but we should be able to collect it all up, hopefully. 
without clipping anything or damaging anything. And what I might do then is move that baler out the way once I've done a pass. I'll go and get the grass first. Um, because actually, I thought doing this all in one pass would look really cool. <laughs> it looked really cool on video, you know. But um, you saw me collect the and bale the uh, grass. So doing it this way, wind rowing first and then coming over the baler, is not going to be any different to how I did the straw. So realistically, can I catch that bit? Maybe. Yeah, so what I'll do is, uh, we'll, yeah, we'll do the other bit. We should get a fair old bit of this though, though. Though, though, though. <laughs> we should get a fair old bit of this though. Because those windrows are looking pretty big. Don't need to come back out and um, fertilise it. I'm sure, like I say, I think, are we missing straw at the edges? I think I might miss a little bit here and there. Let's get the lights on so we can see. Not all of the edges, but some. Whoa. Some really clear with the fence there. Now anything extra again with this, I think we'll put it into the silo. I can put it into the, the fermenter, but I'd rather have the hay to hand. So if we did need more than what we've got baled, it wouldn't be too much of an issue. I think that's the best way of approaching it. Right, turn that off for a second. It won't take too long. I, I, I've been watching the fence and not looking to the top right, so I don't know if that work has stopped the other one. Potentially. Right, we'll stop there for a moment. Lift that. Fold it. Let's get that out of the way. Even if I don't show me doing it, or there might be a little clip of me doing it, we'll we'll get it bailed before the end of the episode um, but it might not be a kind of me talking while we're doing it moment, I think it might just be we'll do it off camera right, so I'm going to have to load in wagon can't remember the nightmare we've been driving today yeah, I can't see that that slurry spread is still going I'm pretty sure in here which one was it? The South Sea from Planter. Oh yeah, it's here. Is there anything in it? Yes, there is. 1,650 litres of solid fertiliser. Right, probably should have been using that really. What I'll do then, I'll use the slurry on the fields that we've just done. Because they're going to, to be fertilised before I put any seed or anything in them. Or that's what I'm going to do. Um, and actually we can sit the broadcast spreader on this. Which we could do our grass fields with. It's the beauty of having multiple tractors as well. You can have all different stuff going on different things. I might get over to field 10 and swap that out. Bear with me a minute. I'm going to get over to field 10. I'm going to get this going over there. I do like this. I'm, I'm used to the, like, the bigger... I mean, it's 1,650 litres. That's going to last quite a while. The sort of, you know, three, 4,000 litres, 3,900, 4,000 litre jobs, but it's going to work. Tire deformation on those rear tyres. It's fantastic. We have got another fertising contract as well. Even if one of the fertising contracts I do pays for me to just buy another... Like I say, if I get one of those bulk pallets, 5,000 litres for a grand that will last me a little bit longer, we can pick up a load more fertilising jobs, actually I was going to say I'll see you in a minute but yeah, we're here now so. 
Where was the other field? Maybe we can get it going on there. Oh no, because it'll run, it'll run out. Sorry, I seem a bit... Do I seem a bit indecisive? <laughs> Where did it end up stopping? Oh, okay. Let's check that field. He got a lot further across it than I thought he was going to. He did? Lots of spots missed, though. That's odd. But he did, he did more than I thought he was going to. How are we looking on there? 27% looks about right on the field, doesn't it? The other one's field three, which is... Oh, all the way down there. Uh, where's that one? We're here. We haven't been over towards there yet. Lots of stones, according to this. Maybe we could just go around. I if we can go around and just pick up the stones that it says are everywhere. Should have kept hold of the rock picker, shouldn't I? That would have been a bit of extra, a bit of extra cash in the old sky rocket, wouldn't it? Would have been alright. This one, I have no idea what the broadcast width is on this. I can't remember. Let's turn it on and see how far it goes out. We've gone a little bit, maybe a bit further over. Let's try that. That looks about right. And that's going to be using far less. Let's check the old mappage. That's very strange, isn't it? That's going perfectly. That's left lots of little bits. Right, he should turn around. Let's take him back. We'll get him to our fields, I think. Let's grab the loading wagon, get that grass sorted out. I'll worry about doing our fields with the slurry spreading in a little bit. So although it only holds 6,000 litres, I might... Will this do double application? Shh, I don't see any reason why it shouldn't do double application. Uh, on... Yeah, activate double application rate. We're going to be at our fields right next to the farm, so it doesn't matter if we're backwards and forwards. Um, at least that way, we've got our first sizing done in one go. So, uh, yeah, maybe at some point, I say invest in a big one. To be honest with you, with the tractors we've got, although we have, yeah, we suppose we've got the 261 horsepower one now, haven't we? So, yeah, I suppose it could work, couldn't it? Anyway, sorry, I digress. I'll see you on the field at the moment with the loading wagon, and uh, we'll get that sorted and fill this up. And let's get this going on one of our own fields, I think. I want to see if, it's, if it does that weird thing as well on ours, because if it does, it could be a... It could be a mechanical issue with the actual slurry spreader itself, in which case we may need to get a replacement. Because um, if it's not going to lay the fertiliser down properly, we may have an issue. Potentially. Um. Oh. I was going to say, what's going on? I'm out in the field, and this is where we stand at the moment. Things are, yeah, peculiar. Um, I have tried to use the slurry spreader again, and I don't know if you can see, there's all little gaps all along in the double application, the same as it did on the application there. I'm not quite sure why, so that slurry spreader is not doing so great. Field 3, I've, I took the um, John Deere over with the broadcast spreader over there. It's done field 3 as well, so 10 and 3 are both done on the contracts. It does mean I'm going to have to do a double hit, but that's not too much of a problem. So I'll move the John Deere over to our field. So field 5 and field 12, I'm going to get some fertilising done. That's going to get hung up now on the tractor that's already there. Um, so... Yeah, I, I'm not sure what's wrong with that slurry spreader. It's a bit peculiar. So what we'll do is um, unfold that. We'll get this done. And then I'll get the baling sorted out. And then we'll get the lettuce done. And Yeah, I think that's right. Turn that on, drop it down. Because this is in line, we should be fine. He says. Fingers crossed and all that. I mean, I, I did cut around pretty much everything, so I tried to get as much as we possibly could. This will all go into the fermenter, and then um, that should be all of our components. And this is, I, I've done this a lot, and I've talked about it a lot before, about prep work. It, that's 
Now we've got the cows ready and I've said before I don't normally like doing that. I prefer to prep everything first, get all the feed, get all the stuff ready, then get the animals. So the fact we started with animals, they did have some feed already, which is great, but I wanted to make sure we've got plenty for them moving forward. Can I get through that gap? I think I can. This one might be a little bit trickier. How tight is that? I oh, know we're right. Are we? What am I stuck on? Okay, this is one of those net code things. Oh, there we go. As I say, I was nowhere near it. I'll come back and tidy that bit up. This is another one. We're getting far more than I thought. Um, I am going to buy at least, well, at least one pallet. We will buy more pallets of the fertiliser from the farm supplies. There is a station here um, on, well, near the farm that we can go and buy seed fertiliser and lime from. But if, if you've got a place that you'd like, that you prefer, if you get it cheap or, you know, it's just a preferred supplier, then, yeah, I mean, you can always use local, but... I'd rather be a cheapskate. <laughs> I know that sounds terrible. No, I don't mean that. I mean, in that, um, the farm supply company is local. We'll just go with that. Hang on. I've turned off the wrong thing. That's what I'm going to turn off. Can't work out why it wasn't working. Right, it's to the corner. Get that picked up. Then we shall carry on. Perfect. Right now, put it back on the front. Turn that on. There we go. <laughs> have always have the you know, top tip. Have the correct implement selected when turning on, off, lifting, lowering. It does kind of make life a little bit easier. We nearly full. We are. We've even done one pass round. So what I'm going to do is I'll turn that off, leave that there, because there's no point taking that with us every time we go. Let's get that unloaded and I'll get the fermenting, we'll get that turned on straight away. And then I'll move the fertiliser spreader over to field 12, we'll get that done too. So we should be just down here. As far as I know, we just unload directly in front of me. Just there. So I've loaded our grass in. Go into here. We can do it all by apps these days. All done by app. It's fantastic. So grass silage, hay silage, chaff or straw. We're doing grass silage. 12,000 litres going in one to one ratio. Turn that on. That should start processing. There you go. Two litres of silage already being made. Our fermenting is underway. Excellent. Right. I'll go around. Um, we are going to clear this area. So I think when we get to doing, I say forestry, it's going to be a little bit. Well, maybe there's a big old tree there. We're going to clear some of the trees from there so we can put some stuff down, I think. Could have just turn around there, couldn't I? It would have made more sense. But... Oh, that was the thing I was going to do. I'm going to sell the header trailer. Because the header we've got is so narrow, I can drive down the roads anyway with the header on. Um, and that header trailer is it's money. It's sitting there and we're not going to use it. I'm not going to use it. So I, I think we might as well use that money wisely. I could take it to the store. I say I could take it to the store. That's one of the problems. There's no sell point at the store. So I can't. Oh, that's the thing as well I need to do. Those contracts I just done, I need to complete them. Don't I? Let's do that before we carry on. Hook up to there. So let's go into that menu. Contract complete. Collect and collect. Sowing's active. Two cultivating jobs. 
We have got a cultivator, and that's money in the bank too. We've got another fertilising job there, harvesting job. Ooh, that pays quite well. Even if there's nothing over and above, we've got our own harvester. We could just knock that one out, couldn't we? I'm just looking at things that are going to make... I know everyone, say everyone, not everyone, but people are, oh, you're always doing contracts. I'll say it again, when you've got seasons running, or even if you've got seasonal growth off, once I've planted my two fields that I own, please tell me how am I supposed to make money. I don't own the forest. I could borrow some money, maybe lease it, lease a part of the forest and do some forestry. Um, I've been doing contracts. I'd have to sit and wait for my crops to be ready and then go again. Farmers diversify. They're having to these days. So we're having to do all sorts of stuff. Let's accept that. And... So we cultivate or harvest? What should we do? Um, well that pays more. We'll accept that contract. Hopefully it won't roll over onto the other one. Uh, so, field four. Yeah, I'll just move the equipment around. Turn that on. Turn that on, drop that down. Right, I've got a load to be getting on with then. Let's get the rest of this cleared and into the fermenter. I will also pick up any odds and ends. <laughs> Top tip, Mr. Zilipi. Try lowering the piece of equipment. What was I just saying about the correct tool? Selected. Yeah, that was lowered. Why is that missing bits? That seemed a bit peculiar. Okay. Um, yeah, we've got a whole load we need to get done. I'll, I'll grab any errant bits I've missed. I usually do. Let's grab that little bit there. We need every bit we can possibly get. Excellent. We're not going to end up with hundreds of thousands, but then we haven't got 50 cows. You know, we've only got... What, we've got 10? 10 or 15? 10, isn't it? I think what I'm going to do for this bit is... Um, turn that off, lift it, fold it for going through that gap. So I'll see you in a bit. We'll have some more of this done. Uh, yeah, I need to move the harvester over. We have quite a lot of stuff on the go, aren't we? Actually, let's have a check on prices as well then for lettuce and where can we sell it? I'm assuming there's a sell point for lettuce. If there's not, we're going to have a problem. Oh, there we go. Look, uh, farmers market two six, restaurant two seven, supermarket two eight. But that's falling. Maybe we need to get onto that straight away. Um, what's got a front loader? The John Deere. And where's the supermarket? I did the map tour. You think I'd know? Uh, is that down? Hang on. Think, think, think. That's up here, isn't it? Oh, is that right opposite the store? There you go. So many jobs, plenty of tractors, only one me. I know I can hire, I can hire workers, the AI stuff. It's a small map. I haven't tried doing it yet. I, I don't know how um, how well it will work. In all honesty, I suppose I could try, couldn't I? Sending some workers to do some bits and bobs like that. But Now, admittedly, one thing of lettuce is only 500 litres, so it's not going to be... If it's 2,800, so it's going to be 1,400, but that's 1,400 for a case of lettuce to the supermarket. Like I said, it's money in the bank.
it would be absolutely insane not to. And as we move th through each month, there you go, 1441, we'll have more and more of them. Maybe we'll use a trailer next time to bring them, because we'll have more than one pallet, hopefully. This is going to be our, this will be our little loader, I think. It's been quite handy already, I, like I said, I do like this little chunt here. I've got tractors scattered all over the place now. Uh, the slurry tank has come back because that's rubbish. <laughs> that's awful. Um, it shouldn't be, but it's, it's not working great. Um, I'm thinking maybe. I know I've talked. To, I, I don't really want to get a loan. I don't. I don't want to. You know, I'm here. Like I said, I'm here to help the model farm. I don't want to be taking out credit. I don't. I, you know, I don't want to be getting them in debt. Or, we want to try and do it ourselves if we can. I mean, I say it's going to be a bit of work, but we've got, you know, we've got an extra tractor now, so we should be able to move through the gear pretty quickly. Again, in theory, I'm going to just tuck this to the side here. And the sewing tank has moved. Now we've got that cultivating job. That's a smallish cultivator. I'm not quite sure what the horsepower requirement on that is. But we've got work to do. Um, right. Harvest. Uh, I'm not going to do the harvesting now. We'll get on to that in a little bit. But uh, let's get the jobs done that I'm supposed to be doing first, I think. It's nearly half past four. The day, in fact, the month, is running away with me. We're going to be moving into September soon. Uh, the baling is done. Oh, that's, I'll pick that one up. <laughs> Missed that one. We have got, in this stack, 125 bales. Which is what I said we were aiming for, because I've moved the straw stack that was over there. That barn's a nightmare to get in and out of. With this trailer, one thing I have noticed, whether I'm connected to this or just connected directly to a tractor, this trailer has a tendency to drift side to side. So trying to line it up to unload in a neat straight line, every time you line it up, it then moves a little bit. It's an absolute nightmare. So I moved the straw here, 75 bales of straw. That trailer will hold 105. So the first stack is 105, and then I did the 20. So we've got 200 bales, our straw and our hay. I'll move that in just a little while. Our fermenting silo, we ended up with about 66,000 litres. Bottom right, it was just say, there you go. There's 59,152 that's being processed. 7,700 litres already been processed into silage. That's running. So that's the three component parts. I'm not doing mineral feed. I don't generally do mineral feed with my time mix ration mixes. Uh, in the silo, we've ended up with... Um, I think there's 125 bales of hay and then we had about another 13,000 litres loose. So I put that in this silo with the loose straw we had. That's all in there. Uh, contract wise, I completed that fertilising one field four. Did I say I'd take that one? Just over a grand. We'll take that. Oh, I knew it. That cultivating job's gone. That's annoying. Could pick up that one, I suppose. Uh, I'm going to move everything over to doing the harvesting, and then we are going to get onto the sowing. I think I might grab, because I've got we've got a seeder and a planter, so I'll accept that one as well. Next episode we're going to be sowing because we need to sow our fields, and we'll do those sowing contracts. That 
broadcast spreader for the fertilizer i've re-fertilized the other grass field so that's now good to go i put it on the massey it works perfectly it does seem a little bit big but it doesn't the front wheels don't come off the ground we haven't got much left in it actually at the moment 542 liters so what i'm going to do is i'll run it on here until we run out actually you know what i'm going to order one now let's order a pallet now i haven't got it installed i need to go into our feed supplier <laughs> That's a bit remiss of me. Anyway, that's what we'll do. I'm going to go straight out. Let's go from the edge. This has hardly used any. I mean, the fields aren't big, let's be honest. But it hasn't used anywhere near as much as I thought it would. So I'm going to get this one fertilised. And then, like I say, probably we'll be into September. We'll have some more lettuce to sell, I would assume. And then um, we'll get the fields sown. We'll get them second fertilising state done now, and then we're going to need to get a little roller, get our two fields rolled. We'll get those harvesting and sowing contracts done. I might do the harvesting one off camera, maybe, I haven't decided. Um, and we shall move forward. We started on, what were we on, 17 grand when we started today? We're up to 23. Made another 5 grand, so that's not too bad. Actually, this is going a lot further than I thought it was going to. I like this. I like it a lot. So that's where I'm going to leave it for this episode. We've got a fair bit done. All the jobs I set out to do, we've got done. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.